This is Beth from Glam Enough, and today I wanted to do a little blush review for you with some cream blushes. I personally really like cream blushes because my skin is really dry and it sort of adds another little bit of hydration, but also because I feel like cream blushes really melt into my skin and sort of make my skin look like it has a flush instead of looking like there's sort of a layer of color on top of my cheeks. I've lately been looking for a new one and came across some new products that I wanted to share with you. I'm gonna walk you through four products today. I ordered two um, Glossier cloud paints. They call it seamless cheek color. Um, I ordered a pink one and sort of a more neutral one. These are very popular. Glossier is very popular right now on the internet. Generally what people say in their reviews about these products are true. They, you only need a tiny bit of product and you can kind of build the color. You really just need the tiniest bit. Okay, so you can see just a little bit of color there. And it kind of melts right into the skin nicely. This one obviously gives a very natural look because it's such a natural color. So you can really build up the color. So the other Glossier is in Puff. And so I'll just show you a little bit of that on top of this sort of natural one there and that one. So you can see when it first goes on, it's very opaque looking, but the more you tap it, and I do think tapping is the best method for applying this blush, tapping it kind of blends it around nicely. So even that pink that looks sort of so pink when you put it on is, really very natural looking and that's what I'm always going for. I want just a swash of color. I just want to look like I just went for a run through the woods or something. So the cloud paints, I do recommend them. I think they're fantastic. Easy to apply, easy to blend. So that's the first one. Um, my other cheek, I'm gonna show you another product which I really, really love. It's by Givenchy. Looks like this. It's called Blush Memoir de Forme. They also call it Pop Up Jelly Blush. And this one is in the color Rose Delicat. And it's really unusual. I wanna say it's a cream blush, but really it's more of like a gel blush. It's very liquidy. You can kind of see the way it looks almost like whipped egg whites, but soft peaks, not stiff peaks. It's gorgeous. It applies really, really nicely and blends really easily. I'm gonna put this on the other cheek. So you can see when it first goes on, it's a little bit more pigmented, but as you press it in, and it feels so luxurious, I would say. You have a beautiful flush of color, and it really hardly takes anything, hardly takes any product, um, and that's good because it's expensive. Next up, I'm going to show you two more products, but I first have to get this off my face. Okay, I'm back fixed up the face. So now I want to show you two more blush products. This one is probably the most expensive of the bunch. It's from Clay de Peau and it is just called their cream blush and this is in color four. This is what it looks like in shade four and I'm just going to use my finger again. So I'm just going to get, I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger and pat. What I like, again, about cream blushes is that it makes, to me, it makes it look like the glow is coming from within, it's so profound, um, rather than sitting on top of your skin. So this is the Clay de Peau. It's very velvety, satiny feeling. Um, I think it'll last a long time because you don't really need that much product. Um, but like I said, it is expensive. Last one I'm gonna show you is kind of wacky, it's new, it's from Too Faced, it's from the Peaches and Cream collection. It's called Peach My Cheeks, it's so witty. Um, you're gonna look at this and be like, wait, that looks like a powder blush. It does look like a powder blush, doesn't it? It is supposed to be powder to cream to powder, which is like, what? Why would you bother going to the cream in the middle? Like, just go powder to powder. You don't even have to go anywhere, just be powder. It is really interesting and has a really interesting texture. And so I thought I would try it and I like it. So I'm just going to, again, go in with my finger. So when you touch it, it doesn't feel like um, powder. It does feel like cream. Then you just put it on your cheek. It smells 
frankly quite lovely, like if you like peach smell, and just press it in. You can layer up if you want, and I think it looks really nice. You wouldn't think of it as a cream blush, and it does say melting powder blush, but it's not really a powder. When you touch it, it really does feel like a cream. So those are the four cream or just not powder blushes. My favorites in order, number one is definitely the Givenchy pop-up jelly blush. I love it. It's super unique and I think the color is great. It's very easy and forgiving to use. Um, so love that. Second choice, honestly, I think it's going to be the Too Faced. It smells really nice. Um, and it melts in really nicely too so that you kind of get the best of a powder because of the matteness of it, but also it melts into your skin. Third choice would probably be the Glossier, really mostly because of the price point, because it's not that expensive compared to my last choice, which would be the Clé de Peau. There's nothing wrong with the Clé de Peau. It's fantastic. It's a really, really nice, luxurious, luxury brand blush, but there's nothing super duper special about it. Those are my picks. Let me know if you have any favorite picks or things that you want us to try in the comments below, and we will see you next time. Bye.